What's going on guys? I'm Louie here from Sin City Living and today I'm going to be going over the basics of dealing and why you need to stick to basics and specifically in terms of press moves, change, and payouts, okay? So this is going to help you dealers and this is aimed towards specifically towards those dealers who are new into the business and maybe they're in their breaking house or maybe they think they know it all. Okay? Well, you, know. you, you don't. I mean, you need to master the basics. So, so Jason and I, when, even when we used to teach, we would see, to the point where we would teach the game at a, at a school, and to the point where whether we're dealing or we're sitting box, we see it so often. Everybody wants to be fancy. Everybody wants to do this, do that. But nobody wants to stick to basics. Basics are key. You need to master the basics before you can do anything else. You need to have a general understanding of the game. Okay. What I mean by that is, I'm going to just set up an across over here, right? Everybody knows six on the six on the eight pays seven. You should if you're a dealer, a uh, craps dealer. And if they want to press, they're going to get a dollar change. And you're going to just stack it up, right? Make it look like 12. What does 12 pay? 12 pays 14. If they want to press it, one unit, what is the change? $8 is the change. You're setting them up to 18. If they want to press one unit, what is the next unit above 18? 24. What does 18 pay? 18 pays 21. If they want to go up one unit, what is the change? $15 is the change going to 24, okay? Now, the reason why I'm breaking it down and I'm saying you need to master the basics before you can move on is let's let's stick with the six and eight for now then we'll we'll move it up to the five nine four and ten so on and so forth okay so I'm gonna put it on the six here I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this uh, yeah so I have six dollars I have thirty dollars I have six hundred dollars and I have six thousand dollars. Okay. Six pay seven. Look at the way it's cut out. I've got one red and two aces. Correct. What does thirty pay? Thirty pays thirty-five. I've got one green and two nickels. Okay. What does six hundred pay? Six hundred pays seven hundred. I've got one five hundred dollar chip and two one hundred dollar chips. What does six thousand pay? Six thousand pays seven thousand. Correct. I have five thousand. In 2000. Okay? Are you seeing something similar? I've got one of the same units on the bottom and two on the top. One on the bottom, two on the top. One on the bottom, two on the top. One on the bottom, two on the top. It's all the same. If I want to press, which means double, six, pay seven, dollar change going to 12. 30 pays 35, five dollar change going to 60. 600 pays 700. $100 change go into 1200. 6,000 pays 7,000. $1,000 change go into 12,000. Okay. Notice the change is always similar. It's the one unit, the one unit from the top, correct? This is why everybody wants to be fancy. Everybody wants to move up, but it's all the same. You go from the from the five and the one dollar unit, then you go up to the quarter and the nickel unit, then you go to the purple and the black unit, then you go to the chocolates and the and the yellow units. Okay? Master the five dollar units first because once everything starts leveling up, you will have your instincts to rely on, okay? As long as you know the change, just add a zero behind it. Okay? And the first time you're going to deal at a break-in joint, you're going to deal majority with $5 and $1 chips, checks, okay? Then okay, occasionally you'll see somebody betting greens and reds and so on and so forth. And then you go on your tier two and then you'll see more, more variety. You'll see more often than not greens and reds. Then you go to your tier three, you'll start dealing. You'll still deal your... your uh, your $5 action, don't get me wrong, but then you'll see 
black action, green action. Occasionally you'll see the purple, maybe the thousand dollar action. Then you go into the tier four action where you'll start dealing majority $25 games and you probably are not going to see a five, 10, 15 dollar game very often. You'll deal 25, 50, 100, uh, 200, 500 reserved. It all depends. It, it really depends. I mean, like I said, it all depends on what tier, what level you're, at, what level you're at. If you're a trusted dealer, but you know how you become a trusted dealer and you're able to deal that big action? You master the basics. Same thing. Okay. I got twelve dollars. I got twelve hundred dollars. It looks different, right? I got two here. I got one here. I got one here. I got two here. Okay, it looks different, but the payout is essentially the same. Here I cut out two red and <clears throat> four aces. On this one, I'm going to only cut out two. My apologies, I will cut out one. See, I'm already getting screwed up here. I cut out one and four. 12 pays 14. 12 pays 14. 12 pays 14. Okay, if I want to press, it's the same. Give the cap, but see, it notice it looks different, and it's going to screw you up. The first time you see that, it's going to screw you up. Even to this day, I still practice this because I have not mastered the higher limit action yet. Okay, so get that down. So let's say I have six here, and I have sixty here. Add a zero behind it, right? Six pay seven. Going to 12, or yes, going to 12. One dollar change. Six pay 70, right? You just add a zero behind it. What does it change? It's 10. Just add a zero. One. And now you're going to 120. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Now you got one and four. It looks a little different, right? If I want to go up one unit here, the press move is going to be different. Why? Because I can cut out my 14. It's two different colors, but if I cut out my 140, I'm using three colors, correct? I have right here, I have my 125, and then I have 15, 140, three colors, okay? I'm separating each and every one of them to prove it. Now, if I say press one unit, what is, what is one unit? Well, one unit can mean a lot of things. One unit for this is $8 change, okay? One unit for this can be 150. One unit can mean 180. One unit could be even 240. It really depends on what their unit is. Okay? I got a big unit. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> Jason says he's got a big unit. Uh, but eight is a change. Let's, so this is why it's important to remember units because every, everybody's unit is different. Like I said, you can go from 120 to 150. You can even go to 180 or you can go to, you know, 240. The unit is always different. Remember that. 12 going to 18, what is the change? $8. Let's say their unit is increments of 60. Okay? Well, I can't just cut out 140 with a black and then have them take and then take them to 160. I need to cut out a different amount. The amount I cut out will be the same. I can cut out, I can cut out 140 like this. I can cut out and then I can set them up with $80 change and then set them up with 180 doing th doing it this way or I can do it this way as well I can cut out 150 for 10 giving them 80 change going to 180 okay it's different. And what is the cap for that? $30 is going to be the cap. You have a $30 cap. At this point, I just heal it off. I know what the cap is. Okay, but notice, one unit from 12 to 18 is $8 change. The unit from 120 to 180 is $80 change. Just add a zero behind it. But if you know what the cap is, and if you know what the change is from the smaller units, you'll know what they are for the bigger units. Like I said, the presses are going to be different because you're dealing with multicolor. But as long as you master the basics, you're good to go.
Okay. What's another one? Let's say. Let's say they want to go from here. Okay. Twenty-four. They want to go up to twenty-four. What's one? The next unit up is twenty-four. Okay. Fifteen is going to be the change. Going to twenty-four. Okay. The next unit up from here could be two ten. But like I said, if you're dealing with increments of sixty, you, then, you know the next unit is going to be two forty. So you can cut out your two ten. Okay. Right. One eighty pays two ten, but you don't have what you need, right? Because you don't want to go to two forty. So you cut it out. Cut it all out in the come. Boom. Work your way out. Everything is all different and wonky, but as long as you know what the change is, 15, 150, you can get there. And I'm sure Jason has mentioned this in other videos, and if he likes, he's more than welcome to chime in. I am going to be going over the next units of, the next unit up will be the five and nines. It's the same thing, five pace. Five on the nine or five pay seven, right? The pressing, you're gonna give them two change going up to ten. Okay, ten pays fourteen. They want to go up one unit. You're gonna take them to fifteen. Nine, nine is the change. Or if you want to go all the way up to twenty, four is the change. You can also have something like this, where somebody will throw you a dollar, and they're gonna go all the way up to twenty-five. Okay. Now, how does how does that correlate with the bigger denominations? Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Okay. 5 pays 7. 25 pays 35. 500 pays 700. 5,000 pays 7,000. What was the change? If they want to press, $2. Going to $10. What is the change? $10. Going to $50. What is the change? Two hundred dollars going to five hundred. What is the change? Two thousand going to ten thousand. Okay. So if I cut it, if I bring it all back out here, it's one unit plus two units. Okay. You're going to give off the two, stack the one. 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 The press moves more often than not are the same. So, so many times you'll see, like I said, you'll see the new dealers trying to do flashy stuff when it's all the same. The same press moves you have from five going up to 50, it's gonna be more, pretty much the same <laughs> when you start dealing with the bigger denominations, okay? Now, you're gonna get a little shaky if you do this, this action on the live game. Okay, let's say I want to go, I haven't dealt this action on a five or on, a, on the, the, big, the bigger checks like this, I haven't really seen it, but uh, I'm going to go in to detail on what I mean about this. So let's say they want to go to a quarter, they will, the player will drop in a dollar and take them up to a quarter, right? The thing for this one is, pay 70, they will drop in five dollars to go to 125. Okay. I haven't dealt dealt uh, anything like that on this this kind of action. So on a thousand, what would that be, Jay? So what are they throwing in? If pays fourteen. And you got a thousand bucks. Pays fourteen hundred. What, what are they throwing in? They're throwing in a hundred to go all the way up. Yeah. They're throwing a hundred. They're throwing a hundred dollars, and they're going all the way up, right? Twenty-five hundred, right? Well, there you go. When the 2,500, 10,000. More often than not, 10,000 for a lot of players, even special players would be the max. But you have special, special players that are, I'm sure are allowed to go more than that. But I haven't heard too many stories about that. I think, I think uh, I've heard people playing quarter million in hand on Bachrot and stuff like that. But on, on, uh, on dice, uh, more often than not, I hear people are allowed to go ten thousand, maybe fifteen, maybe twenty thousand a number, but I haven't heard anything above that really. Um, but then again, I've only dipped my toe into the business myself, so 
I've got a long ways to go. I might see something in the future. Jason might see something. I might hear about something. You never know. But what I'm, you get the point I'm trying to make. You stick to the basics. You get a general understanding. And you're good to go. So this one right here. This one right here. Mainly on the 6 and 8s. I have 36 on the 6, correct? What does it pay? 42, okay? 36 pays 42. They want to go up to one, they want to press one unit. Their unit has constantly been $6. That is their unit. Well, 36, they want to press it one unit. What is their next unit up? 42. How much does the payout pay? How much does the 36 on the 6 pays? Pays 42. So, and what do they want to go up to? 42. So why on earth would you take, take, stack, stack, and give them 36 change, okay, to go to 42. <laughs> okay. 36 pays 42, correct? What is the change? 36. That's already been established, correct? Okay, so I'm going to hand off the place bet, which is, what do you know, 36. I'm going to heal that off, and I'm going to stack out the payout and get my $7 cap going. Okay. Now, what's the next one? 42 pays how much? $49. I'm going to cut out my 49 and they want to go up one unit, okay? 42 pays 49 How much do I have cut out here? $49. What's the next unit they want to go up? 48 bucks, right? Well, how much do I have out, cut out in the come? 49 bucks. If I take a dollar away from that, what am I left with? 48 What's the next unit they want to go up to? 48 Okay. So I'm going to just take this, stack this, I'm going to give them $43 change and set it up with 48. Plain and simple, right? Pretty easy. Right? Basics, basics, basics. You get a better understanding. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing this if you hit a stump. But it slows the game down and it's just everybody's going to have a different press move. But as long as you have an understanding of what everything pays, you're good to go. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it just baffles me that people don't know what the next unit is. They have to work it out, which is fine if you're at a break and join, maybe a tier two. But if you've been in the business for years, you ought to know. These, and this is why everybody needs to practice the basics. To this day, I still practice basics. I will sit on my kitchen table and do single presses, single unit presses from $6 going all the way up to $500, $600. I practice it at least, at least twice a week on my kitchen table. If I don't practice there, I'll come over here and practice. Okay? How about this one? There is a misconception that 54 on the 6 or 8, right? That the cap is four dollars. How 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 on earth is the cap going to be four dollars? If <laughs> when the when when the freaking bet was twenty four dollars, the cap was four dollars. Okay, that's a four dollar cap for you right there. They're pressing. They want to go to forty eight. Four dollars change. Okay, you give them four bucks. They're going to forty eight. So tell me how on earth the, the cap is going to be four dollars on a fifty four dollar place bet on the six or eight? Nope. The cap is $9. Okay, it's a $9 cap. So if they want to press up, where are they going up to? This is why you need to have a general understanding of the game and not skip the basics. Okay, 9 is the cap. What is the next unit they're going to if they want a full press? Double their bet. They are going up to 108, correct? So I'm going to just take that, $9 change, and what do you know? What, below and behold, what do I have here? Got 108. Okay, guys. <laughs> Stick to basics, okay, guys? The basics are what are good, is what's going to make you a better dealer. Everything else is going to come in time, guys. You just got to put the time in. It takes years to become a good dice dealer. I've got years to go. Jason has years to go. We all have years to go. Even somebody who's been in the business. I know people who have been in the business for over, over, over uh, years, five, ten years, and they're still practicing. One of, my, one, of my, uh, one of my mentors, actually, who helped me get to where I am today in terms of dice, he will still practice 
on his, on his, in his living room or on his kitchen table. And he's been in the business close to 10 years. He'll still practice, and he's one of the best dice dealers I know. But what does he practice? He will practice basics, and that, that's all I have to say, guys. Practice the basics, and you're golden. I'm Louis here from Sin City Living. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank all of our patrons. You guys have a good one.